Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number 15 of Racks to Riches. Today, we are currently at 607,000 medallions, so we are less than 400k away from the million. But another thing, people have been asking me about powers and why I don't really play in power arenas and stuff. And that's because even though all the grinding we've done, we're still not even close, dude. Like, I cannot even afford, like, tier 2 or a tier 3 or whatever they're called. Uh, th these powers right here, like, we're, we're not making that much, much progress, even with 100 games. Like, I am still missing a lot of stuff here. And this one is going to cost me 2.5k. Uh, this is going to cost me 5k. And this is going to cost me, like, probably 10k before I can even get damage boost, which is also the reason we're not going to play in power arenas, because we would stand, like, no chance in there because people who have tier 4 powers they're just easily gonna win the game so you know that's no good but we do have some bfb coliseum boost only that we're gonna play and boost only is the only arena where i actually do stand a chance because that is the only place where games are fair so uh yeah without further ado let's just get right into the first game all right so we're playing against wgb3 is cool our first opponent here and we are playing on frozen river so of course i'm gonna go boat mortar on this map uh it, DFA is pretty good in this map as well, but I'm not good at DFA on this map, uh, which is the reason I'm not going to go DFA on this map. So, uh, yeah, we do want to get this thing, like, up right here, and then probably another one over here, and that should do. Let's put this down, and then put down a banana farm. And he might go DFA. I have no clue what he's going, but let's go for more bananas real quick. And, of course, we want to try and get up a BIA if we can, if that's possible. First, I do want to send to, like, 263, I think the correct number is. So, yeah, let's get this going. And then at 48 seconds, I believe we can get up a grape shot, which, uh, which we definitely do want to get. Um, so, come on, please give me that. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Beautiful. So he starts out with a wizard, which is actually really, really interesting. Don't know why, but I'm definitely going to send a couple pinks um, to see if we can force some stuff. He might be going most likely with village, I assume. Like, I don't know what else he could be going, but let's send him a pink here. And okay, so we do end up forcing that right away, which is really good. And we can actually go for a plantation here. One minute, 18 seconds. But we get the lightning up with just one pink, um, which is definitely what we want because sometimes people don't send pinks at all, which means like you do not force the lightning on your opponent and that's just that's just no good. So we definitely don't want to do that. But now we're going to go for another farm whenever I can afford it. He's probably going to get this up. Yeah, I was going to guess 1 minute 36 seconds, but we're already going to be... Uh, out farming him uh, here early on, which is pretty good. And of course, I do want to send him black balloons as well. Because that should do some things. So I think right now I'll just send non-stop black balloons. And I will go for faster shooting as well. And I'm going to keep this on close too. So he did force faster shooting pretty quick, which uh, well done to him. I'm going to continue on sending these just because they will get him to leak a bit. He's going to get up another uh, wizard, but is that going to be enough? Maybe not. I need one more banana real quick. Thank you. Let's go for that. And here on round 7, I do want to continue with the black balloons. I definitely want to boost these at him. And he should probably target that wizard too strong. And upgrade it a bit, maybe. That could be an idea. Alright, looks like he's doing okay. But let's send that and make sure... We just gotta make sure he can't farm too much, honestly. That's like our... Uh, the only bad thing. Let's go for another 1-0 here. So far, we are doing quite alright, actually. But I do want to force the second lightning, if I can. Alright, there we go. We end up forcing it. And now I gotta get ready to get a mortar up, uh, in case he wants to uh, try and rush me. I'm probably gonna get the mortar up anyway, just to uh, make sure we're solid. I don't really want to greed round 10. That's uh, never usually a good idea. I definitely want to get up another buccaneer, like, up here at the top, just in case of camo, uh, or, or region lets, I mean. I'm gonna go for this, gonna go for grape shot, target that too strong. Go for my rapid reload here. And of course we do want to get burning stuff up uh, eventually. Yeah, let's just get it now. While we can. And let's go for this. There we go. And now we should be okay, I think. I definitely do want to force, uh, force something on him here if I can. 
Let's see if we can get a boost out of him. Oh, I should probably get some uh, camo detection up on these. Okay, nothing yet. He's still greeting really, really hard, which is uh, which is insane. He's greeting way too much. I really want to prevent the BIA. I don't know if I can, though, but I really want to. But we got to go for this ourselves. Uh, gonna go for more bananas, and we'll see, honestly. If he tries to go for the BIA right now, I'll probably try my best to punish him. I definitely want to send him some stuff on round 15. He does go for it, okay. Alright, let's send him a bunch of stuff here. And this should be enough to kill him, hopefully. Oh, he has A's, okay, interesting. He boosts stuff at me, alright. Let's go for a destroyer right here. But we do end up forcing him to sell the BIA, which is pretty good. So I'll definitely take that. And now I'll go for this. Um, oh, and he goes for that, okay. Interesting. So I definitely do want to send him a MOAB followed by like a bunch of stuff if I can. Because now he tries to greed for a bank. Which means we need to be really, really aggressive. Alright, so let's sell that. And get ready to... Uh, to send a mo up here in a little bit. I'll just rebuy it if I need to. I'll go for this, put that on strong. Let's go for some increased accuracy here. And send him a little bit of stuff. If I'm being really, really aggressive, I can possibly stand a good chance here. He's down to 11 lives, so we do end up forcing a boost. Great, love to see it. Is he gonna be good just with that? Nope, I think he's dead to that. And he is. Zero lives. Okay, GG. We do end up taking a win, but let's just get right into the next game. Okay, so we actually end up facing the same guy again, and we are this time playing Industrial Zone. Um, so yeah, this one should be interesting. We are going with the Dartling Gunner and um, the Boomerang Monkey, and of course we got farms as well. So yeah, this one should be interesting. He's going with a Wizard straight off. That's, that's an interesting choice. But let's see. Definitely want to send to like 260, I believe. Is the right choice here. We definitely want to send a bunch of spaced balloons for sure. Let's go for the zero one one here. And now we want to go for the farm whenever we can. Alright, so he does go for lightning. Which, I don't know. I, I, don't, I really don't think that this is... Uh, that this is the way to go, to be honest. But we do need to go for the farm. As soon as we can. But Wizard on this map is really, really interesting. I'm going to send him a bunch of pinks here. Because I don't think Wizard on this map is really going to work out for him. He might go for the farm soon, though. Let's keep on sending stuff. And let's go for the farm ourselves. There we go. And then keep on playing aggressive. We need to be very, very aggressive here. I might even consider around 13 rush. But of course, we also do need to make sure that we're farming as well. Just because farms are very important. And a wizard on this map is just very bad. Like, you guys can see he's clearly leaking a lot right now. Um, so I'm just going to continue like this. The space pink. Probably going to boost some uh, blacks at him, to be honest. This should force a boost. Or at least some spikes, at the very at the very least. Uh, yep. Does force him to spike. But he should probably die to this if uh, if he doesn't get up some more defense. Or he boosts. He's probably going to boost, most likely. Realistically, I think. Now let's go for this now. And he's down to 21 lives. And he does go for second lightning. Okay. Well done, buddy. Well done. Uh, and we're chilling right now. He could send us uh, yellows, though. Which we do have to be a little bit careful about. So I think I'm probably going to go for this, just in case. Actually, I do want to go for the farm. There we go. I'm going to boost in case I see any yellows. If he sends me any, I'll boost. And then I'll just go for another dartling if I need to as well. Just going to boost that. No problem. Do I need to spike that? Probably. Don't want to lose too many lives either. Let's send him a little bit of a rush here. Get a little bit of eco while we're at it too. And send this up behind too. Let's go for powerful darts here. Is he all outing with yellows? He very well could be, but no, doubt it. 
Let's target that too, uh, too strong. Put it over in the right hand here. Send some regrows. See if he'll 100% uh, defend those. He most likely has attack shooter, to be honest, I think. All right, so I do want to go for depleted Bluntonium in case he forces it, which he does. And then right here, we also will want to go for uh, our Bionic Boomer, but he hasn't forced anything yet, so I'm actually going to go for the farm. Don't really want to go for much right now. I do want to send him, like, around 13 rush, though. Let's go. I wonder if he has attack shoot or something. Like, I'm, I'm really curious to know what he has. We do end up forcing the boost. That is pretty good. And I'm probably... I don't know if I'll all out him, to be honest. Eh, let's do it. I think that's a GG. Yep, we do end up taking the dub. Uh, GG to Mr. WG3. WGB3 is cool, good game, let's just move on to the next one. Okay, so this is interesting. We're playing against the number one ranked player. I'm the best. He's 82%, global rank 1, prestige 2. So, honestly, I'm feeling some NFE here. Um, I don't know how good it's gonna be, but I'm feeling NFE in Yellow Brick Road, so let's go for it. This is, this is curious. I, I've beat this guy before. I beat him not too long ago playing in... Uh, Playing in, what was it, Blunarius? No, it wasn't, was it? No, it, it was the red, um, red arena. All right, let's go for this. Let's put that to first. That's the last, first, last, there we go. We do want to anti-stall a bit here and of course, send some stuff. Don't know how much we'll send. I think 256 is probably the right choice to send. I don't know if it's worth sending any more than that. Let's go for this. And of course, I do want to upgrade this whenever I can. Let's go for more bananas. Here we go. He's going to be playing very, very aggressive, which honestly does not really surprise me too much. I'm going to go for 9-inch nails here. Am I good? I think so. Hopefully, I should be. Let's uh, put this here on last. And start sending him a bunch of stuff. Alright, that's pretty bad. I need to go for... Uh, I need to go upgrade this one quickly. Come on, let's send some more stuff here. Spike again, go for sentry gun. Okay, this is pretty bad for me. I might have played the beginning very, very wrong here. Let's put that to first. Okay, we should be okay now. I want to continue to anti stall here though. And I also want to upgrade to fast engineering. Whatever. Alright, so right now I am thinking I will boost some greens at him. He's gonna boost that. Okay, so I'll go for fast engineering here and then I'll continue sending him greens. And then follow up with this. Let's put that to first. And let's see how he deals with it. <laughs> Of course, this is going to be a very aggressive match. However, he's up a plantation and I'm kind of down right now, which is not very good for me. So I'm behind in farms. I need to go for this quick. He keeps on rushing me. I need to go for my plantation. Otherwise, I'll be way, way too behind on money. Let's put that to first. Get this going as well. Alright, let's put that back on last. Larger service area. Probably gonna get sprockets too. We'll see though. I definitely need to continue farming. He just sent a lot of stuff there, so... Hopefully we can be even on farms. We'll see. I wanna go for this thing now. And then I gotta go for this right here. Oh, that's unfortunate. We missed one. Oh my god, now we're missing two. Okay, that's really, really bad. Just gonna boost that, I think. Let's target this to first. And we do end up taking the win, okay. That was kind of an aggressive game, but... Uh, 
we got the win anyway. I was too aggressive, but I'm 2-0 with this guy now. No clue who it is, but uh, yeah, let's say good game and let's move on. All right, so we're playing against our last opponent, Factor Mito, global rank 52, and we're playing on In Ruins. And of course, we're gonna go Boat Sniper uh, Ace, because I believe it's pretty okay to use on this map right here. So I do wanna start out early with anti-stalling right away. And then I wanna put down my Buccaneer down at the bottom here and of course we have pretty good a spots on this map and of course sniper snipers can be everywhere so uh yeah that's really like how i'm uh how i'm thinking about this whole thing so i'm gonna go for the grape shot first and then i'll start ecoing right away and he's gonna be doing the same so this is probably gonna be eco versus eco match i think which is gonna be quite interesting to be honest um and with ace and everything like it's 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 just gonna make everything much easier to uh to, to like play on this map and like we're ensured that we can go late game if i play everything correctly and the thing is it's actually pretty good because i'm not anti-stalling here um and i think that's the best part about this map is that i avoid anti-stalling because the ai is coming from the top and i'm not really i'm not really doing anything to the ai uh but he is which is a little bit uh, unfortunate anyway gonna get ready to send some blue balloons here in a bit there we go, and we start off round 4 with a good amount of eco, which is definitely solid. I'm gonna keep this too close, however, just so that uh, we're staying safe here. And I believe we're doing okay right now, like, we're, it's, I'm not really too worried, because right now we're, uh, we're looking to be just fine. We might take a couple leaks here from the AI balloons, I don't know about that, but if we do, then that's totally fine by me, to be honest. I might go for one more Buccaneer, though, um, uh, while getting ready for round 4, or sorry, round 6, I mean. So far, we haven't actually leaked yet, which is uh, pretty great, to be honest. I think, however, I will go for this, like, right down here. And then I'll continue on, just because, like, it is looking like... It is looking a little bit grim, like, we're soon gonna start uh, slowly leaking a bit. But we go into round 6, honestly, with a lot of eco. 420 eco, which is really, really good. So I'm gonna send a bunch of black balloons right now. And then I quickly want to go for one more grape shot right here. And then I want to just continue like normal. And then we should be okay, I believe. Yep, we have this on strong and the other one on first. Or sorry, one on close and one on first. And that looks to be okay. And now what we're going to do is legit just continue as this until we get to 550. And once I'm at 550, then we're going to stop. And if we do end up winning this game... Then we're actually going to be up 100k medallions this uh, video. And if we don't, then we're going to be up 50k, which is still okay. Like, you know, I'll, I'll take it either way. All right, let's just go to 555 just for the numbers. But yeah, this is pretty much it for now. I do want to get ready to go for one more Buccaneer in case he wants to start sending yellows. Like, you never know. I'm going to go for two, two twos. There we go. And then we do want to get this ready here. All right, let's go for three of those and put them all to first. There we go. We can sell them all for 3.4 something K, <laughs> I believe. Uh, I do want to fit a sniper up at the top, but I can't really. So I think, honestly, we'll just put the sniper over here and then send him one lead balloon. Oh, he has a sniper as well. Okay, I'm not even going to send him a lead just because he does have the sniper. So I'm going to ignore that. And now he's sending me okay sniper mortar that's pretty interesting to be honest i don't i really don't know how this is gonna go i'm i'm curious now to be honest i don't know right, let's go for the semi-automatic let's see here okay what do i have 160 times that's 320 that's 480 so 3480 if we sell all of these that means minus 7000 that's 3520 dollars we need which is another, what is that, four boosts from now? So at four minutes, 18 seconds, we should have that. Okay, so I'm probably, I don't know if, if I will, like selling all of these are kind of risky. So I don't know if I want to do that right away. But screw it, let's go for it. And let's go for some of these. And let's put that to first. And there we go. He did try to uh, get a little bit of a rush in, but it did not work out well. 
and my sniper came in clutch here and let's put it back to strong and now we should be doing pretty well here with our sniper farm and he's not ecoing and he's not even sniper farming so right now honestly i don't know what he's doing but i'm completely chilling so i'm happy with this and I will go for another one of these. And I do want to be ready because round 18 is going to be a pain. Which need, which means we would need to get ready to get up a Buccaneer in case of round 18. Like just just basically in case, like worst case scenario. Let's go for a third one of these. Just to help defend the pinks that he's currently sending. But as long as we got this going right now, we should actually be pretty okay here. There's nothing really I want to send him. There's no point in sending him much. He can pretty much defend anything right now. Um, I don't want to send him a BFB. I don't really want to send him anything. A BFB would hurt me, actually. Because he could easily defend a BFB. All he has to do is pop it and then Maelstrom like three times. A BFB would be quite easy for him to defend. But let's go for another one of these. There we go. And I kind of want to get ready with a Destroyer in case I need it. Don't really think I do yet. Okay, let's just go for it. Just because he is sending a bunch of pink balloons right now, which is a little bit annoying. But we do manage to defend that. He's going for eco at some strange times, to be honest. Alright, I do want to get ready for this down here in case of a Moab. And then I want to get up this ace up here, probably, on the circle path. And I want to continue on collecting these right here. So I kind of want to target all of these two first right now. Just because in case he wants to send me, or not a MOA, but a BFB. I do want to get ready for uh, defending that. I need 4.8k to defend a BFB. Which I should have shortly, we'll see. Don't know if he'll send me one. He could. If he does, I'll quickly sell my Buccaneer though. And then I'll go for this. But right now I'm playing this rather, uh, I'm playing this rather safe to be honest. I'd rather be a little bit behind on money. Um, then die unsuspectedly, or unsuspectedly. How, how do you say that? Unsuspectedly? Unsuspect. I don't know, what, you guys know what I mean. Um, uh, then die unsuspectedly to like a BFB or something like that. Like, I don't really want that to happen. I kind of do want to get ready to go for Monkey Pirates though. I'm also going to go for an ODS right now. Keep all of these back on strong. There we go. And honestly, at this point... I can probably soon, I can probably sell that now and go for this, to be honest. Uh, I kind of do want to send him a BFB on around 20, um, on the next round, on this round. Yeah, let's send him a BFB just for the fun of it. And let's see how he uh, how he deals with it. Let's boost that at him and send him a bunch of lets up behind as well. He is going to Maelstrom that, I think. Is it going to be enough to Maelstrom it, or is he going to die to that? It is going to come in clutch, but he does defend with a Maelstrom. Well done. I'm just going to continue on sniper farming like normally. Let's say well done to him. And yeah, our sniper farms are better, and we do have the ace, which means I think we should win this going late. So I'm just going to get ready for that. I don't want to set him a CMG. That's a waste. But I do want to get back to 500 eco, just because I like having a nice even amount of eco. That's going to give us 1,000 every uh, 12 seconds, which is okay. But mostly our sniper farms are going to be uh, going to carry me right now. Let's go. The only important thing right now, honestly, is to co uh, continue to collect these like as fast as possible. We are out farming him. When it's coming to snipers though. He, however, he does probably have a way better eco than me. I do believe that, but I don't know how much better. I'm going to sell this. Don't really need it. And let's collect another one of these. Sniper farm again. And again, there we go. Now we just need like one more. And we are looking... Like, we are doing pretty good right now, I'd say. I probably want to start sending space CMGs on round... Probably on round 32, to be honest, I think. Or maybe 33. I know after round 35 is when we're going to struggle. Um, so I definitely do need to be a bit careful. Let's put that too strong. Can I fit any more down here? Nope, okay. 
that back on strong as well. This is getting kind of intense, to be honest. Round 27. We should be completely fine round 27, to be honest. And he managed to defend that BFP, coming in clutch pretty well, so... Uh, I think this guy is probably pretty decent. So we don't really want to underestimate him by sending more stupid rushes like that. Let's go for two more of these. There we go. At around 27. Our sniper farms are looking quite good at the moment. So I'm definitely happy about that. And of course we can ace micro down at the bottom here, which is gonna come in uh, come in handy. Supply drop, go for some more of these. Here we go. Right now, like the most important thing for me right now, honestly, is just going for as many uh, as many crates as possible. I can't really be uh, messing up. When going for the crates, I need to go them. All right, go for them fast. And of course, we do have the ace, which uh, which is gonna come in uh, come in handy when uh, when we need to defend like basic AI stuff. Like round 32, if we need to. Well, honestly, we don't really need to worry too much about round 32. There we go. We do want to get ready soon, though. Also, I don't think the big ones are going to be that uh, that important here. I think Maelstroms are probably more important. They might be okay to have up still, though. Just uh, as a safety measure. Alright, let's uh, slowly start rushing him. I think... Uh, I think we're okay here. He's being very, very aggressive right now. Which I don't know how to feel about. Okay, this is actually fine for me. Okay, he dies. I don't know what he choked. I think he choked to the AI, to be honest. But we'll take the win regardless. Um, I think, he, I don't know, I think we were still going to win, sending a lot on round 32 is pretty dumb because we have ace. It, you need to wait till at least round 35 before you all out, until then you just need to send space to drain me. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, we're now at 707k meds dude, we are so close to finishing this series man, it is so insane. But thank you guys so much for watching, I love y'all, peace out.